Hello folks and welcome to the Angler's Experience. Today I've got my good friend Mike Allen out on the boat with me and we're going to be discussing the two times a year when you can go out and catch trophy walleye. We're going to have a spring walleye show and river current for you and then we're going to move on to night walleyes. I'm going to be discussing the techniques that you need to use to catch these big fish. So you folks sit back, this should be fun. There he is. Oh yeah. That's a nice fish. Oh. He's trying to get that thing out of his mouth. Come here, buddy. There we go. Nice job, Mike. That's a nice fish. That's a nice fish. Hook out. Not a bad one. Good net job by my buddy. Boy, beautiful fish. Look at the greens on their back. Mike, see that? Gold and greens. God, what a beauty. Nice yep. All right, bud, let's get you back. Boy, he was, I mean, he smacked it. That is an absolute beast. 35 pounds or so, it's a big, big fish. What a beauty. We're gonna put this fish back. Yeah, that is awesome. The Angler's Experience is proudly sponsored by Crestliner, leader by innovation. Strike King Lure Company, number one in fishing lures. Setter Rods, the American way. Sidewinder Planer Boards, fight the fish, not the board. Vibe Lure Company, blade baits for serious anglers. Tobler Marina, your one-stop boat shop. Easy Loader. All boat trailers are not created equal. Oxart, your single source supplier. Lincoln Electric, the welding experts. And Honda Marine, it's all about power. There you go, Mike, you try this out. This is that new PT Energy on a seven foot Fenwick. Give it a shot, see what you think. Feel good, Mike? He yeah, hasn't seen the boat yet. He's just kind of coming at us now. Yeah, he's going to go pulling it tight here in a second. You watch. Oh, yeah. He's going down to the bottom. Go to the back, Mike. Go to the back. Watch the motors. Keep it tight, Mikey. Keep it tight, Mikey. Oh yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. There we go. All right, Mike. Nice fish, buddy. Boy, he inhaled that thing. Open up, Charlie. There you go, Mike. That's a nice fish. That's a nice fish. Good job, buddy. All right. Nice walleye. Nice walleye. Yep. See you, buddy. 
Folks, my all-time favorite spring bait happens to be the drop shot, and the drop shot is a bait that I use all the time, but in the springtime, like Mike and I are doing today in this river, it seems to work the best. And the reason being is that we're able to fish very slow for these walleyes. You gotta keep in mind, in the springtime like this, they've got one thing in their mind, and that's to go and spawn. They're not really thinking too hard about eating, they just wanna get the job done. So what you gotta do is you gotta force them to eat, and the drop shot does a great job of that. The other bait that will work great for you if the drop shot's not producing, maybe those fish are sitting right down on the bottom and the drop shot's going over their head, it would just be a simple grub like this with a small jig head. This one's made to imitate a crawdad pattern. And what we'll do with this is we'll just toss it upstream, quarter it upstream, let the line pull the, cur or pull the weight down into the rocks and just tap the rocks. Don't jig it real aggressively, just walk it down through the bottom and what happens is it'll come at them and they'll just open up and eat it because it's coming right at their face. So keep that in mind with your spring baits. Keep them subtle, keep them slow, you got to force them to eat. Not bad. Oh, there's a big fish. There's a fish. Double hookup, guys. Double hookup. Not a giant, but two good fish. There he comes. That is not a bad fish. Watch your foot, Nick. Come here, bud. We'll take you. Uh, Underneath that towel, bud. Ain't nothing better than double header with a good friend. That's what fishing's all about. It's about the camaraderie of coming out here with a good friend and having a good time. It's not always about the fish you catch, but if you're catching big fish, it makes it that much more fun. Good job, Mike. Good job. Come on, Mikey. That is a big fish, brother. That's when we're coming to get you right there. Look at that. <laughs> How's your drag? Okay. Make sure you'd rather have it loose than tooth hit. Oh, brother, yeah. This is what we came here for. Come on, Mikey. Get Mikey a big wall out here. Kind of coming up coming at us now. Let's go easy. You might not like it when he gets up. Good job, buddy. See no glow down there. Oh! Oh, yeah, oh, yeah buddy. Got it, Mike! Ah! There you go, brother! <laughs> oh, Mikey, my friend. This is what we came here to catch you, buddy. Would you look at that? I think this is your biggest walleye, Mike. Mikey's biggest walleye. Here, Mike, you gotta hold him up. We came here to get Mike a big walleye, and I think we succeeded. Good fish, buddy. Beauty. We're gonna take some snapshots of it, get some with the digital here. Good job, Mike. There she wow. goes. <laughs> Good job, buddy. Mike's biggest nice walleye. Nice fish. <laughs> I get asked a lot of times about what it takes to go out and catch big fish, whether it's pike, bass, walleye, you name it. And a lot of what it has to do with is timing. You know, I tell people, hey, I don't catch big fish because I'm good. I just catch them because I'm out on the water a lot and I get them by default. But really, folks, what it has to do with is timing. If you're really wanting to focus on catching trophy walleyes, what you need to do is set yourself up at two prime times. That first time of the year happens to be a pre-spawn pattern, which for us starts to develop in the northwest, starts to develop for us around the end of February and goes on through the end of April through May, depending on runoff and water temperatures and such. The other time of the year is my favorite time, which happens to be nighttime in October and in November. And what you got to keep in mind with these two times a year, first in the springtime, what you need to do is you need to focus on your water conditions. Our fish come out of reservoirs and spawn in tributaries. You may be on a lake where you don't have a tributary and they're going to spawn on windblown shorelines. What you need to do, once you start to get the lake level rising and the water temperatures start to warm up into the 40s, that's when you want to start focusing on hitting those big fish. And what you got to do, for us today we're fishing in current. 
And being that we're tributary spawners, it's the end of March right now. We've had a fairly warm spring, and we actually got started a little bit earlier than normal. So what we've done is we've focused on gravel beds, just like you would for salmon or steelhead, within this tributary, and that's where we're setting up. We're setting up on those spawning holes. And here in just a few minutes, we're gonna to talk to you about the right nighttime presentation. There's a big one right there. That is a big fish, guys. Big fish. Just pummeled it. Oof, man, this is a good one. This is a good one. Head shaking bad. He's just kind of coming in here. I don't know. Ooh, got some big head shakes on him. Trying to hold the boat off the shore here is going to be kind of fun. Ooh, I can feel it raking in his teeth. Back of the boat. Taking line, buddy. Got a lot of pressure against him in this current. They've just been barely biting us today. I don't want to pop him off. Look at that fish just sitting down there. Sitting in the current. Oh, pretty good glow down there, Mikey. Oh, yeah. yeah, buddy. Let's see what we got. What do we got here? Oh, yeah. Look at there, buddy. Huh? <laughs> That's a good one, Mikey. Yes, buddy. Boy, hard fighting like in this current. Oh, don't you? Look at that. Look at that big glow down there, man. Oh, baby. Look at that. That is a big glow, fellas. Look at there. Oh, he you, you saw you coming, Mikey. He didn't like you. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, he's not ready yet. That's a big one, Mike. Ah, oh, boy. Quit. Take your mic. You got it, buddy. Good job. Holy moly, that's a nice one, <laughs> oh, yeah, buddy. Look at there. Huh? <laughs> yeah, buddy. Oh, I just barely hooked. Holy smokes, Mike. Look at that, buddy. <laughs> that is a walleye. What a beaut. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Having a good time today, aren't we, buddy? Huh? Oh, that's a Very thick nice. fish. What a beauty. Yeah, let's put her back in the water, man. Go do your thing, baby. Thank you very much. See you, girl. All right, Mikey. Yeah, buddy. Nice fish. All right. Folks, this fish was a big drop shot walleye that Mike and I caught. And this fish had a story to it. It was a fish that we hooked up and we knew it was a big fish and we were excited. Got it into the boat, got back to the studio and there was no audio to go along with the clip. So that's why you see lips moving and no voices coming out. This walleye was around 10 and a half to 11 pounds right in that neighborhood. It's late October, the moon's coming to full, and these big walleyes are starting to feed. Tell you what, folks, we're gonna be throwing husky jerks out here tonight. It's not gonna be a pretty show because we don't have pretty birds and trees to look at, but I think Mike and I are gonna find some big pig walleyes, so you folks oh, stay yeah. tuned. You like that, Mikey? Good night. Let's get them back in the water. Oh, oh boy. Perfect. He'd had enough. Folks, if I was to write down on a calendar the best time when you'd have the most potential at catching the biggest walleye you've ever caught, I'd mark on a calendar the October moon phase and the November moon phase. And what we do out here in the Northwest with our big reservoirs, I focus on four days before a full moon phase and four days after. And somewhere within a two-day period in those particular times, we're going to catch big fish. 
Whether it's in October or November, it depends on the water temperatures and the type of fall that we've had. What I'm keying in on is when my water temperature starts to drop below 60 degrees and get into the mid 50s and that full moon phase is coming around. And when you go out during this time in an area where you've caught walleyes before, they may not be large ones, but you've caught walleyes before, you can go back there at night and those big fish move in and you're gonna have a kick in the pants. But just pay attention to that moon phase, four days before, four days after, 60 degrees to 50, 55 degrees, and you're gonna catch the big ones. Folks, we're playing these fish real easy because we have a potential for some serious sized fish here. This is no little slouch right here. You got him, Mike. Got him. Oh, he's nice. Look at that, nice. guys. He's nice. <laughs> oh, folks, I'm excited. Pardon me if I make Woo! weird noises. Look at that. Nice Look at fish. the eye on that fish, guys. That is what night walleye fishing is all about, my friends. Got the pliers over there, Mike. Gotcha. Oh, watch, on, them watch them hooks, watch them hooks, watch them hooks. Okay. Hey, folks, this right here, if you come out when it's cold and you got to dress for it, and I know a lot of times it's better to sleep, you think, you just come out here and do it, you will be amazed at what you can catch in these big reservoirs at night. Just like this fish right here. What a beautiful walleye. Nice, thick across the shoulders of that fish right there. That fish is probably pushing nine and a half, ten pounds, somewhere in that neighborhood. An absolute beauty. But you got to take care of these fish because they're gonna they're gonna spawn this spring. We don't want to hurt these big females. So if you come out at night in the fall, do me a favor because you're gonna catch some big ones. Just make sure to let these guys go. We're gonna snap a couple pictures of this fish and then we'll turn it loose. Nice. Folks, we're gonna let this big fish go here. We're gonna give it a minute to take its breath. Look at that big old fish. That is a big old walleye, guys. Look at that. That is beautiful. Give her a minute here to catch her breath. Ready to go, darling? Huh? There she goes, back into the dark. Straight down. Straight down. Hey, folks. Nice fish. It don't get any better than that. This is awesome. It's a little cold out, but man, we're having a good time. The baits that I use for my nighttime fishing, and it just depends on the conditions. With this full moon phase, like Mikey and I are fishing, we're actually four days before the full moon. Our water temperature is around 58 degrees. And the two baits that I'll run at this time of year, one is a Yozuri Type F. Type F just means floating. And this is their Moonlight Special. This one's beat up, folks. It's caught a lot of fish over the years for me. And this is basically a jerk bait. Another bait that I'll run is this Clown Pattern Husky Jerk. And then another bait that I'll run is this glass shad wrap right here. And you can see it's a totally different bait. So you're asking yourself, well, what makes a difference? When would you use which? Well, folks, it all depends on the moon. For me, if I've got a good moon and I've got bright skies out, what I've found is the walleye will silhouette feed, which is, means they will look up and use that moonlight to silhouette that bait. What happens with these husky jerks, I can jerk that bait, let it pause, and those fish can see it from up above in that moonlight and they'll come up and strike the bait. If we lose our moon, whether it's due to cloud cover or we're fishing on a non-moon phase, what I find is by going to this glass shad wrap, this dives me down instead of being down four feet, I'm getting down eight, nine, ten feet, depending on line and cast distance, and I get down and I beat this lip off those rocks. And what happens is those walleye now feed down, they hear that noise, and they hear it beating through the rocks, and I catch more fish with this bait on a dark night. So just keep that in mind. Good moon cover, or good moonlight, excuse me, use this bait. No moon or low light, use this bait right here. Right on top. Good, they're coming in. Hey, buddy. All right. All right. Nice fish. Yeah. That Was that a Yuzuri on there? That's the husky jerk. Oh, husky. Yeah, husky jerk. There we go. Oh, nice fish. Probably four and a half, five pounder. Chunky fish. Beautiful. Nice tub. Nice fish. That fish is 25, 26 inches long all day. Nice fish, Mike. Beauty. Beautiful fish. All right. Okay, youngster, let's get you in now. Here he goes. Yeah! <laughs> all right, oh. I see him down there. Oh. 
Where you at, sir? I'm over here. I'm over here, buddy. Bad. Not bad, buddy. Boy, that's a nice fish. She's thick. Okay, let's be real careful, buddy. Real cool. Boy, I don't like the light. Does not like that camera light. Look at there. Oh, oh man. You like she easy, Mike, easy. Go, Mike. Oh yeah! yeah. <laughs> Another nice one. You the nice Look at one. that, folks. Hang on, Mike. Just keep it up in the air like that. Look at that, folks. Huh? Oh, nighttime. Walleye fishing right there at its finest, guys. Got that Yozuri. Rust up. That hook just popped out. He had the back hook in his mouth and he swung it around. Nice girthy fish. Nice. Look at that folks. Look at the belly on that fish. That is a beautiful fish. Probably pushing around nine pounds. Let's see that boat if you're up there, Mike. We'll throw a little weight on this thing. Folks, that fish right there is ten and a half pounds. Tag. Yeah, it looks like an old tag in this. Yep. Yeah, old tag in it right there, guys. Yeah. That fish is ten and a half pounds, guys. Beauty. Nice thick fish. We're gonna get a couple still pictures for the website. We'll turn this big guy loose. Get her down in here and let her catch her breath. Grab her tail. Alright, baby. I appreciate it. Look at that, look at that walleye, guys. Look at how thick that fish is. One egg beauty. Ready, baby? Are you ready? There she goes, big submarine here. here. Beautiful fish. <laughs> well, folks, I hope my information today helps you go out and catch that trophy walleye. But I've got a favor to ask you. Now that I've shown you how to go out and catch them, when you catch that big one, please do me a favor. Take a picture of it. Get a length and a girth. Turn that big beauty loose. Let's protect those broodstock fish for the future. Keep those small guys to eat. Let's keep those trophies going. As always, I want to thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you next week. For a list of today's gear and techniques, log on to axfishing.com and select AX Journals.